What is up guys? Welcome on back to TK's Garage. And today, you know, we talked a little bit about the Hemi Cuda, but did I tell you that V8s are back? Now it might not be the V8 that everybody wants, but the fact that they are testing internally with a sedan, with a two-door car, a 5.7 E-Torque Hemi. The Hemi is back. Perfect. Guys, what is up and welcome on back to the channel. And I just wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about this today. You know, I went out to, I had to go out to my land today and, you know, put, put feet on it and all that good stuff and then come back. And, um, you know, I got a couple of, you know, little morsels of information that a hybrid Hemi was being in the works. And I was like, didn't we already have that with the e-torque, right? The e-torque system which they had on some of the Rams, right? Well, it seems that Stellantis, you know, they put out the one thing and it went out earlier this week and I talked about it in a couple of videos and a lot of different publications also covered it, that they're going to focus more on hybrids, less on full electric. Remember, it was the whole EV first. Everything has to be electric before we do anything else. EV first strategy. They have slowly, they didn't come out publicly and do a whole event and say like, hey, we're not doing that. They just started changing shit. Like they're making, they're committed to making more gas hybrids. Okay, I could, I could see that. Make some cheap gas electric hybrids. That would probably do good. You know, make the Hornet a fifteen to $20,000 vehicle. Maybe it would sell then, not at 42000 well, it seems that the CUDA, the reason why they have, you know, uh, re-trademarked or, you know, renewed the trademark on that name is because it is coming back. It will be a replacement for the Challenger, which has been retired. The Charger is now in the EV and gas versions, neither of which have ever made it to market yet. But we will be seeing a, uh, a Hemi CUDA, which is a hybrid. Now, it looks like the engine, or from what's being tested right now, there is a 5.7 liter e-torque engine going into the CUDA. Now, it's not the Hemi CUDA that anybody who's a Mopar fan remembers, but at this point, I gotta be honest, for, for Carlos Tavares to get off his arrogant retardedness, and it admit that, hey, maybe we can still do Hemis if we hybrid them, right? Cool. There's nothing wrong with, and here's the thing, there is something wrong. It's, they can't even get a gas, a gas engine electronics right, never mind a hybrid or electric system. Ugh. But, could you imagine them bringing back a 6.2 liter Hellcat engine with electrical support? Like similar to the Corvette eBay, uh, eBay, damn it, the Corvette E-Ray, uh, where you have that V8 plus you have that electric boost in the front. I I don't know. I think that might be kind of dope. You know, if you have a Hemi Cuda that has you know a, a Hellcat engine and a, a little bit of a boost, maybe that is the Hemi Cuda, and the other ones are just Cudas. I, I don't know. I, I am speculating at this point. What I can tell you that's not speculation is 100% for sure. Does it mean they bring it to market? I think it, I think they will, but they are testing 100% an e-torque 5.7 liter Hemi engine hybrid. I, I don't, you know, I'm not, I'm not a, a huge uh, expert on the e-torque engines, uh, but they are testing it in sedans. Um, nondescript basically boxes that they are running around in Detroit which people have been like you may have seen a couple other ones 
One that was out at the proving grounds, which nobody's at, by the way, anymore. They fired everybody. Um, but just testing the range on the 5.7 and uh, e-torque in a, you know, generic cart sedan. So, interesting, uh, you know, because the sources that we have at Stellantis, i.e. Dodge, have said, yes, 100% facts. They are going to bring the CUDA back. They're going to... Plymouth as a company, which that was the other thing we were waiting to get uh, confirmation on. Plymouth as we know it as a company is not going to um, come back. Like it's not going to be the Plymouth Hemi Cuda. It will be the Chrysler Cuda. We've seen this before with the Prowler, right? Um, so it'll be interesting to see. I mean, maybe this is the thing that kind of gets Chrysler back up off the ground because the only thing you can buy from them is a crap-ass minivan right now, uh, which I wouldn't buy that. I mean, I don't know if I would take one of those for free. So, <laughs> I mean, that's, that's basically all Chrysler is right now is the minivan. That's it. There's nothing else. There's no cars. There's nothing. But um, I'd love to know what you guys think. Do, do, would you guys like to see, I, I, as much as I hate the hybrid stuff uh, or the electric stuff, I'm just not a fan, all right? I, I just, I, I'm not. Would you accept a, a Hemi-powered Chrysler Cuda with a 5.7 e-torque engine? I'd love to know what you guys think. And let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. Anyways, guys, it's going to do it for me. I just wanted to talk about this while I was coming home, while we still had some sunlight up, and see what you guys thought about it. Um, been crazy, man. Been crazy. It'd be definitely interesting to see what uh, what Stellantis, i.e. Dodge slash Chrysler does in that regard. Anyways. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Hit the thumbs up button. Hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. That shit is free. And I will see you guys very soon on the next one.